The Teal Mask DLC has just been released, and with that, we got new info on some of the Pokemon learned the new TM moves, most particularly Scale Shot, at least in this video. For those of you guys not around during the Generation 8 DLC times, Scale Shot was a new tutor move introduced that hits the opponent for 2 to 5 times, dealing a solid amount of damage with it being able to raise his speed stat by one stage while decreasing his defense stat by one stage. I remember back in those days, it was synonymous with Garchomp as Game Freak refuses to give those pseudo its drag dance it rightfully deserves, so this move in a sense was a nice way to deal damage while increasing its speed, which frankly was was the only glaring issue with Chomp retrospectively. Base 102 speed was good back in the day of Generation 4, but now in Generation 9, Power Creep is everywhere, and 102 is mediocre at best, and not at the top at all. Which is like while Garchomp has the power, it doesn't have the speed to keep up with other Pokemon like Enamorous, Warring Moon, etc. Those Pokemon can take it with their natural speed pretty easily. Thus, not having Dragon Dance is basically the main reason for its demise so far, because it cannot raise its level of speed with the other great mons. Funny enough, in Generation 9, this move has been reintroduced back, and Garchomp fortunately learns it, at a time where we all thought Garchomp will finally go down to Yu Yu. With this, it finally competes with other powerhouses lurking in the tier and makes a name for itself, not just for some throwaway mon after a couple of turns. It can be that offensive threat it so desperately wants to do in Generation 9, and it's going to be a pretty interesting alongside now its terror capabilities. Garchomp has literally saved, and now we are in for a vengeance arc for this Sinnoh beast, well, at least we can hope, right? But Garchomp wasn't the only one benefiting from this move, no, I mean like this video title will be totally different otherwise. Next, I I want to talk about Haxorus, and this one is already synonymous with being an offensive threat down in UU with its Terra capabilities, Dragon Dance, Terra Steel, Mold Breaker, and huge offensive physical attack stat. And while it does have Dragon Dance as its move, the thing with Scale Shot, it provides a whole other dimension to where it doesn't have to sacrifice a turn of setup in order to be that quick hard hitter. Rather from the get go now, it can fire off a move, deal a good amount of damage, and provide itself with its speed boost while keeping its offensive pressure alongside it. Even with that though, having setup moves like Dragon Dance or Source Dance can only bolster the power of this move, something what Chomp did back in Generation 8. Go for an SD during when you're not vulnerable and then fire off a scale shot. Scale shot also, unlike Outrage, won't require a lot of Haxorus to run Lumberry, which I mean it can utilize other items like Light Forward, Dragon Fang much better, and in addition won't get confused and locked into the move. Although because it has Dragon Ants, that might be the better option for that kind of scenario because at least you can get some speed if your opponent switches out into like a fairy type next turn after Sword Stand. Haxorus early game will probably be one of the best early to mid game damage dealers that really help hyper offensive teams. Especially if hazards are set up, I can definitely see this thing perhaps running a Focus Sash set or perhaps a Life Orb. I don't know, this thing will definitely be a hell of a punch to take from an OU or an UU. Third up, we have to talk about Dragonite. Dragonite is an interesting prospect. One hand, boosting its offensive potential is great, but with its already solid defensive state and multi scale alongside it, I more so see Scale Shot as an occasional pop up. It's not to say it's not viable, but hampering its defenses for a bulky offensive Mon who has a very mid 80 base speed stat isn't something I would suggest going for. For. If you're looking back in the Sword and Shield era, you will even find Scale Shot not even being on the most common Dragonite sets. For a Pokemon that relies on bulk to keep itself on the field, lowering its defense isn't really the wisest option. You can look at Garchomp at how it could benefit from not lowering its defense, but you also have to see the bigger picture and remember it doesn't have Dragonites to even boost its speed at all, so it's not even going to stay in OU if it doesn't even use Scale Shot. Similarly with Haxorus, Scale Shot offers a way to move around its semi-frailty and vulnerability for a turn and instead keep up that offensive pressure desperately likes to do. It has a huge attack stat and is just missing some speed so getting heavy damage while boosting speed is pretty good trade off. With the Dragonite though, it's a much different story. It has the offensive stats, the bulk, and Dragon Dance, meaning it can still eat hits, raise its speed, and attack, and deal more damage without sacrificing anything significant as a recovery in Roost if it needs to. In the end, Scale Shot is a nice QBT option for this and even with Terrestrialization, I think you're just better suited to keep running Dragonite just how it is right now. Before we talk about the last Pokemon, I would like to ask you guys if you guys haven't already to subscribe for more Pokemon content just like this. It's free and helps let me know you guys want to see more of this. I have more videos going in depth about the DLC and the DLC mods, so feel free to join alongside the channel. Anyways, back to the video. Okay, I know you guys have been waiting for the discussion, but now let's talk about the mod that will be probably banned to Ubers in Baxcalibur. Oh my goodness, they probably gave a fringing Ubersmon an offensive move not only to deal heavy damage but to also boost its speed. This will most certainly definitely be on the radar pretty soon. Just like with Haxorus, it has a huge speed stat and now you combine that with Scale Shot with Dragon Dance or Sword Stance. This means after you set up, preferably in my opinion Dragon Dance to get that little speed, you can then start to go to town with Scale Shot. It's also good to note that unlike Glaive Rush, this move can take down Focus Sash users and thus put your opponents on edge. Combine that with Terra Combination 
situations, and it can be a nightmare on offense. Max Caliber now can easily kill off opponents with his humongous offensive stat alongside Scale Shot. It can live one hit and then fire off a powerful Scale Shot, for example, against Scarfed Hammerod and really turn the tables. And if you guys didn't know, I made a video a while back detailing how Ice Body Chili Reception combos have been pretty good throughout the post tome metagame. Ice Body would now substitute Scale Shot and then maybe something like Icicle Crash, Icicle Spear instead of Ice Shard for good heavy ice damage is actually a pretty viable strat. You could even run a heavy duty boot Scale Shot, Ice Shard, Earthquake, Icicle Spear, Icicle Crash, Glaive Rush Sets, Dragon Dance, etc. It's tough to sacrifice two turns just for setup, but now it's way easier to do with Bass Caliber as if it needed more tools to mess around in OU already. It's become, in my opinion, way too powerful with no real threats to stop this Pokemon with its immense power and move pool that can eliminate anyone. Literally just go for a Dragon Dance, then go for a Scale Shot, or if not that, then you can hit with our EQ, Icicle Crash, etc. Fairy types are not safe against this thing by no visible means, especially with Terra still being the main mechanic of Generation 9. Overall, Scale Shot's immense versatility to work in Limbo with other setup moves while still boosting your own stats is what makes it special. Preserve your bulk with Backscalibur by D-Dancing and then start to gain momentum with Scale Shot to raise your speed as well. The strategies and damage potential is endless and this thing will definitely be one of the biggest monsters all you will ever have seen. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and join the Discord link, link is in the description down below. And huge shout out to all my members again for supporting me here and on Patreon. If you guys wish to support me even further, feel free to join in as a member. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.